Hello my goblins and today it's the man we've all been waiting for, the Goblin King himself, Jareth. And I don't think I even really need to say that he's played by David Bowie, he is just that iconic. Jareth's colour palette contains mostly shades of blue, but it also has some beigey apricot colours too. And I used this as the basis for his background. The colours I used were Naples Yellow, Cobalt Blue, Ultramarine Blue and Prussian Blue. What can I say about Jareth? First of all, I'll say he's barely even in the film. Without songs, Jareth is only in the film for about 10 minutes. But he's such an icon, an incredible character, that we think he's in the film way more than he is. Now, we all know that Jareth is not a goblin. He is a fae, or fairy. He has the ability to shapeshift, and we see him in his owl form several times throughout the film. He is the king of all the goblins, and controls the citizens of the labyrinth quite ruthlessly. He is proud, clever, charming, and deceitful. At Sarah's request, he steals her brother, but then when she wants Toby back, she has to travel through the whole labyrinth in less than 13 hours to get her brother back. Jareth seems bored of his Goblin King life, often not paying attention to his subjects and instead obsessively watching Sarah. She is clearly an unknown to him and perhaps for the first time in a long time, he has met somebody who is unpredictable and that fascinates him. He frequently cheats and tries to halt or slow Sarah's progress. He also sings some pretty cool songs. At the end of the film, in one final attempt to win, he offers Sarah everything she's ever dreamed of, if only she will obey him. He literally offers to be her slave, but Sarah finally remembers that line, You have no power over me! And she escapes the labyrinth, safe and sound, with her brother. Jareth is the antagonist of this, but I don't think anybody hates him. He is too much of a lovable character, and we all adore his charm and wit. David Bowie had a much more extensive film career than most people might think. For me, The Man Who Fell to Earth is up there as one of my favourite films. It's so weird, but it fits Bowie perfectly. And whilst it might be a bit out there for some, it is definitely a bucket list film. I think we also quite famously remember him in The Snowman, introducing the start of the film. It's on every Christmas, so I don't think we can ever forget. And obviously we all know his incredible musical career, which spanned nearly 50 years. The man was a god. It was one of the greatest tragedies of our time when David Bowie passed away in 2016. His loss was devastating and came as a huge shock to all of us. He was only 69. David Bowie was a legend and he will never be forgotten. Now all of you go and watch his films and go and listen to his albums. We all deserve a treat. I hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching.